The first part just asked me to find dy dx, um, and it's quite a nice one. There's no simplifying to do first. So if y is x to right, the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 4, dy dx, I'm going to multiply by the 4, reduce the power by 1, multiply by the 2, reduce the power by 1, and the 4 will just differentiate to nothing. So there you go, that's A answered. Um, B, find the coordinates of the stationary point. So that's when dy dx is 0. So I can do, I can cancel through by, by 4. I take out a common factor of um, 4x. So x squared minus 1. Um, so I could I could then factorise that fully. So that would factorise that's the difference of two squares. Or I could have just at that point said, well, if x squared is one, x is plus or minus one. So either way, I've got three um, three stationary points, which um, makes sense if it's it's quartic. I could have three stationary points, and there are x is zero, x is minus one, and x is one. And then just don't forget. If it says coordinates, don't forget to then substitute each of those values back into your equation for y to find the full coordinates. So if I substitute 0 in, I'm obviously going to get 4 out. If I substitute minus 1 in, I get a value of 3. And if I substitute 1 in, I also get a value of 3. So those are my three stationary points. OK, and then um, it wants me to determine the nature of each stationary point. So I'm not sure, sorry, it's, I don't think that should be there. Let's get rid of that. Right, okay, so then it wants me to determine the nature of each stationary point. So that's going to be the second differential. So that's just differentiating again. So 12x squared minus 4. And I've got three stationary points to check, so I'm going to just call them A, B, and C. So at A, x is 0. So d squared y over dx squared would just be minus 4, which is less than 0. So that one is a maximum. And you must, you must say y, so you must say it's because it's less than 0. Um, at b, the value of x is minus 1. So that's going to be, well, minus 1 squared is just 1. So that's going to be 12 minus 4. So 8, which is greater than 0, so that's a minimum. And then at C, um, the second differential is going to well, also be 12 minus 4. So that's also going to be 8, which is also greater than 0. So that one is also a minimum. And we do know what a quartic curve looks like. So just quickly in this corner, um, I can just confirm that that does make sense. So I'm saying I've got a stationary point at minus 1, um, 3, so about there, 0, 4, and 1, 3. And so that one is A. That's the 0, 4. So, yeah, that's the maximum. That one is B, and that one is C. So they're both minimums, and I know that that's what a quartic should look like, so that all seems to make sense.